The Coral Princess is a luxury cruise liner with a passenger capacity of just under 2,000, offering summer cruises between Vancouver, British Columbia and Whittier in Alaska, highlighting the beauty of Alaska's pristine glaciers and marine wildlife. In 2003, she was fitted with a ballast water treatment system, offering complete filtration and UV disinfection to meet the exacting standards of the IMO Ballast Water Management Convention. Pending the forthcoming US legislation, it also has the added advantage of being accepted into the US Coast Guard STEP program and has been granted interim approval for use in Washington state waters by the state of Washington. Ship's engineer, Daniele Di Bernardo, welcomes this advance in technology. We move around the world very quickly and very often. We reposition the ship, we cruise from one place to another. So it may happen that, for example, as of now, with the Coral Princess, we are cruising in, uh, in Alaska. So if uh, it happens that we ballast the water here and then we move south, we actually move in water from one environmental to another, which can impact the environment. So we are able not to, to deliver any microorganisms that don't belong to the particular environment. So I, I believe it's, it's vital to do this. The system has two main components, an auto back flushing filter and an inline UV system. During ballasting, the flow is processed through the filter and UV system and then back to the main ballast system. During deballasting, the filter is bypassed and the water flows only through the UV system and then overboard through the discharge line. So when the pump is running, the delivery goes through a battery of six filters which use disc technologies filter which is made out of polypropylene and as of now we are using 55 micron size to filter the water. The stacked disc filter technology ensures removal of solids and larger organisms while the automatic back flushing allows for continuous flow while keeping the filter elements clean. The system is pretty much self-controlling because the central control panel is uh, automated enough to take care of the back flushing for, for the filter, for example, which is very important. And not only that, there is a control pressure unit which reads the differential pressure from the inlet and outlet. And the system itself, it, it reads the difference is too high, is going to do the back flush automatically. So the filter is actually cleaning itself whenever the read is necessary. The UV system ensures a consistent UV dosage. The main line we have a flow meter which allows us to monitor the flow temperature of the water and according to the different change of the, the balance of the water, this system reacts as well and changes the intensity of the radiation if necessary. Usually it's around 90%. Just before delivery overboard, we treat again the water to make sure that all the microorganisms are being killed and we, we send back uh, seawater uh, in a clean environment. In fully automatic mode, Integrating into the ship's ICS, a single LCD control panel in the engine control room operates and monitors the entire ballast water treatment system for the ship. Easy maintenance and servicing is important. We have a monthly inspection and uh, so we check all the couplings, no leakage and, uh, and the filter. We have spare discs, so whenever we do the maintenance we can boot right, put back in service right away the system while we are cleaning the filters. So regarding the lamps, which is mainly an electrical job, it uh, doesn't take a long time. These benefits are tangible for an already hard-worked ship's complement. <laughs>